Hey YouTube, figure I'd give you guys an update on my 12 gauge slugs. Uh, some of you may have seen my other videos where I showed how I make these uh, 7 8 ounce lead drive key slugs. Uh, it's been a couple years since I made that video and I just want to give an update and you know just say what my experience has been over the last few years. I've loaded up I don't know how many hundreds of them and been to the range numerous occasions and uh, had a blast shooting them. They, uh, they're real accurate. They, uh, they got just enough recoil. You know, I don't feel like they're like real heavy duty, but uh, you know, like a light H&R uh, topper or something, man, they, 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 you know, you're shooting a 12 gauge slug. Um, so I'm still using these Cheddite hulls. I still <laughs> haven't run out of the, the pre-primed ones. So I'm still using the new ones. I save them, but I haven't got to, haven't had to reload the uh, old holes yet. Uh, I'm still using these short, these uh, these short wads here, uh, in the same build. It's a 20 gauge uh, fiber, like a fiber wad, mini nitro card, and then a 7 8 ounce Lee slug. I got a whole bunch made up. It's a lot of fun right here. Um, I guess maybe, uh, so I kind of use my single stage press here. You know, like this will fit right in the single stage press and I prime, or I uh, charge the, the, the shells right here. Uh, I assemble them and then I uh, crimp them on the, uh, set the, uh, the slug down, do a, a star crimp and crimp it down. And uh, yeah, I made tons of these and they've been real great. So if you're thinking about getting into loading Lee 7 8 ounce uh, you know slugs you know from whatever you know from casting you know scrap lead or whatever you know this is a great load I've been using uh, 34 ounce uh, 34 grains of Herco powder in a Cheddite hull with um, you know the the short the short uh, wad fiber you know fiber wad mini nitro card and the slug and I think in the video I I put a piece of paper in here to hold that powder back and I stopped doing that um, I don't think it's necessary I mean I think it may help a little bit but like you see the powder right there I haven't had a case yet where like you know the powder will get up into this middle area here so I stopped putting the paper in there it just kind of simplified it it looks really cool the paper but I don't think it's really necessary um, so anyway, that's it. I just want to make a quick update video. I know some people follow me for the shotgun stuff, and um, you know, I think kind of shotgun reloading, especially slugs, is kind of like a lost art. There's not a whole lot of load data, um, but I think reloading shotgun slugs is kind of a niche that uh, people could do. I mean, a lot of people like shooting slugs, and slugs are expensive. Um, you know, whereas, you know, shot, you can get real cheap, you know, bird shot or whatever. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to load that. But, you know, if you can cast these out of scrap lead, I mean, you're looking, you know, it's, you're looking only, uh, you know, I don't know how many cents, 20 cents or something for one of these. It's not a lot, you know, and you can have a, a blast shooting them. So um, that's all for today. I just want to give an update and uh, let you know about these slugs. Take it easy. Bye.